Welcome back to the course. In the previous lecture, we have seen how it's possible to create a simple wallet, but we have seen that uh, it's not possible to store the information of our address and the private key as well of our wallet. Means that we have uh, to try to find a way to save the information that uh, we need to keep in order to use always the same wallet to keep our cryptocurrencies in a safe place and to use those to make transactions. For doing that, we need to store a name of the wallet, the password that we had generated, and the encrypted private key as well. I think that uh, is a good time to wrap, for instance, this short part of the code that we have written, just to keep clear, in a function, say create account, and just put inside this function those information, okay? And later on, we have to ask to our user to provide the name of the wallet and the password, store those information in our wallet and keep those information in a secret place in our operating system. I could create a new file, let's say it's for storage, TypeScript and starting to create a new function of that. Let's, let me stop at a moment the autocompile system, otherwise we will become crazy. We have to import the operating system library from the OS system. We have to import the file system from file system and we can start to set to constant places that it will be made like this using the ss 6 system OS home deer means that we are going to check where is our home deer and uh, we can give like even a patch to a specific folder for our project but for doing that we need as well to create a new constant that we create later on let's say it will be like our mosaic name we are going to talk about mosaic name later on during the, our lectures wallets this is the directory where we are going to save all of our information at the moment say like cost mosaic name equal to uh, let's, let's say it could be the unica unica coins coins okay and um, then the other constant that we are going to use is about the patch of the, our wallet that is always uh, taking uh, from the pat home starting from the pat home and then always mosaic name mosaic name and the name of the wallet, it could be like wallet, um, uh, like an extension, I will use like array, just one random extension. It could be enough. Okay, now that we have uh, set up uh, our path in our operating system, 
we are going to start to store the information of our wallet inside to our operating system creating a function we could have like a function that is like store private key private key or secrets let's say store secrets because it's not just the private key and let's say that uh, at the moment we are going to check if we do not have like the in the fault system is not present the existence exist sync if it's not already provided the patch home what we are going to do is to create the part home we are going to make the synchronously our part home right oh yeah this is important because uh, then we are checking and then we are a little bit more safe if the, the, the folder is not there we are going to create once now we have to declare a variable let's say the full path and say that is equal to the path home oh, yeah, the path wallet okay and now that we have to check always if fs uh, exist sync full path okay if the wallet is existing we have to create like a temple variable like uh, we say we can make like a stamp that is like a new date because uh, that is a little bit more safe for date and then we can create two ISO string. Okay, that is a function. Because we are doing this because if uh, is already existing our wallet and then we are creating a new ones, it's better not to override our existing wallet, but to create another one and to create this another one and to keep a little bit more safe. We are adding the information about the date in ISO string format to our wallet that means the full path it will be changed it will be like the, the path home path home then we have to add our stand and then we can add again like before the mosaic name and call like secret secrets dot like before this is like uh, just to keep safe our secrets in our wallets inside to our operating system once we have that we have to write in a synchro way our full path and I would like to say I will stratify the information that we have to install there our secrets secrets we didn't have defined our secrets our secret secrets it will be the password the name of the wallet and the encrypted key but for at the moment we have to decide how we can create them and to create the secrets probably we have to pass through our function here secrets it will be the type of secret secrets but secrets we didn't the system doesn't know what they are or how they are made 
means that we can create a new type for secrets and actually our function now doesn't present any kind of errors and then we have to define which or how the secrets will be made they we need to store the password that will be of the type password right then we have uh, to store our private key our private key is just a string and the wallet name is a, of this type of string as well okay i think that uh, we have everything probably is better to export those information the type and even this function because we are going to use this function to store the information of our wallet in this part and if we are changing and creating we are not overriding our information but we are adding other secrets to our folder as well let's say we can console out okay. secrets okay now before to test it I would like to pause here and see you in the next lecture